Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I'm actually going to be making, um, or I am in the middle of making, a new art uh, mixed media book. So I have been given these lovely um, big diaries. So they're all out of date because they're 2018 and they've not been used. So I have started doing one. So I've got two. So you can see how many pages I've taken out. I've taken out half of the pages. So I'm going to show you how I've done that. So in these, okay, I've just got a little tab there so I can show you. Now I'm hoping you can see this and it's not going to go all blurry. But you can see the little signatures in there. Um, so we've got to just remove some of the pages. So on the front, those two I've stuck down because they're sort of like stuck together anyway. Um, and you can... I've actually marked this one off so I can show you the signature. So here, if you can see here, you want to rip out the middle bits of the signatures. They're quite easy to come out. So you need a, a book. This is quite a big one, so it's very adventurous for me because I've only used the little one because I'm quite new to this um, art journaling and mixed media. So these are the books that I thought I would use. So. What I've done, I've just taken out two of the pages, so you can see here how many I've taken out of the other book. It's half the book, um, but I can use that paper. So then you just move along um, to the next signature. I'm hoping you can see this, it doesn't go all blurry. Um, like that, so you get to the next signature. I think that's right, is it? Or is it this one? like this so then you get into the middle so it's a double page and that's what you take out you just lift it out like that they come out quite easily um, there's different ways you can pull them out um, but the books with the signatures in are quite easy to just to pop out so what I've done I've just gone through the whole thing um, and I've actually come down to half of the book really good so what I've done I've started gluing the pages together this one I just sewed on the front but I'm not gonna um, just sew through the book because it just seems like a waste um, so I, what I've done I've stuck two pieces of paper together so I've done stuck two pages together so I've just every other page I've stuck two sometimes I've stuck three I think this one I stuck three um, so it depends how thick you want the paper so I've just gone through it so I'm going to do a couple of pages and show you okay so here we are so that one I've stuck together like that so let me find my brush here and all as I'm doing I've got my Mod Podge here so this is how I'm doing it there's lots and lots of videos out there to show you how to do it um, I'm not an expert I'm just showing you how I do it like this so I'm just going to glue the page if I move it like that it makes that level I can just it's not perfect but all is this is is an art journal mixed media book so it doesn't really have to be perfect because we're just doing a sort of like collaging and everything in it um, so it doesn't have to be perfect right so then we take this page here and then we just stick it down like that so that's stuck down nicely so lift that one up and then we've got the next one so we take a page up and then the next one we just glue down you can do it with all sorts this is much podge but you can do it with glue stick or any any of your um, sort of decoupage glues really and um, will work really well so depending on how thick your pages are, if you've got very thin pages, um, then you might need to sort of like glue three pages down. But this isn't too bad once two pages are stuck down. So that's how it does. So then they're quite thick because that's, that's how sort of like thin they are. And then it just goes quite thick, especially when they're dry. Right, so once I've done a few of those, what I've done, I've gone down through the middle with a bit of um, masking tape. 
So this is just masking tape here. Um, and it just reinforces these bits because if you have a look, then you've got a great big gap here. So when you're trying to paint or collage, it's a bit difficult. So this one just blocks it off nicely. So it makes one big page or again, you can have two separate pages. Um, so what I did, let me find the next one. I've done a few of these so here. So what I've done, I've tried to sort of flatten it as much as I can in the middle. And then I've just got a piece of masking tape and then just popped it down through here. There we go. So that's how I am going to be doing mine. So I've done my little one. So the difference is, look at that, the difference in size of the pages is mad. So, um... I will be doing a bigger book, a bigger, bigger book. So whether I'll just be doing one page of each one, I'm not sure. But I would like to start adding a few more bits, sort of more um, collage -y bits onto it. Um, so that's why I've taken out so many pages. Um, so we've got a lot more room in there to use, to stick things on. So let's hope this will work out nicely. So then I'm just going to stick that down like that and then just tear the little bits off on the end tear them or cut them and I'm just going to stick it back on there a bit on the end so there we go so again that one I did I did gesso over because it had writing all over it but I'm not going to gesso over any of the other ones because um, if I'm going to collage on it, then it's a waste of gesso, um, but I will do it depending on um, what I'm going to, what theme I'm going to use. If I'm going to paint the background or ink it, then I'll gesso over it. But if I'm just going to collage it, there's no point. So there we go. So I'm going to carry on with this. Um, so it's a little bit sort of like time consuming, but it's okay. So then all we do, we just take another page, um, pop a bit of glue on here, just stick it all down. Up to the edges and take that one and pop it over the top and then we have another page. just keep going and keep going so there we are guys that's how I'm making this one and then I will at some point cover the front of it because um, we can decoupage or something on the front um, before we start going into it so it's quite a big one isn't it so it'll be quite nice all right guys well that's how I'm doing mine so if you wanted to give it a go um, you can start doing that so this is the little one I did um, and that had lots of little, I think I stuck two or three pages on this one and I gessoed through the whole thing um, and the pages are quite hard um, but it's quite nice so I've still got about six, six or seven um, pages to go on this one um, so that's why I thought I'd just do a bigger one, more adventurous and bigger pictures so there we go guys, thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next time Bye-bye.